The first special Christmas publication by the Folio Society was the story Christmas Eve at Bracebridge Hall by Washington Irving, released as a Christmas greeting back in 1957. So it's fitting that this story was also included in the first of their special Christmas collections released in 2000, titled The Folio Christmas Book. This anthology contains 23 seasonal stories and 10 poems, with 16 colour illustrations by a variety of different artists, as well as several black and white sketches. The artwork for the volume represents many familiar folio faces, including Quentin Blake, John Vernon Lloyd, Claire Mackey, David Eccles and John Lawrence. The book is quarter bound in red cloth with printed paper boards. A second collection of seasonal writings was released in 2002, with this volume being illustrated by John Holder. It includes seven colour plates, with an additional 36 black and white illustrations in the text. There are many different genres of English Christmas writing represented herein, including excerpts from classic novels such as Wind in the Willows. The volume is strikingly bound in dark red buckram, with gilt lettering surrounded by a holly design. After the previous volumes proved relatively popular, a short series of thematic Christmas anthologies followed, with the first being my personal favourite, The Folio Book of Christmas Crime Stories, published in 2004. This volume is illustrated by Michael Foreman, with 14 colour plates and a couple of pen and ink vignettes. It features 15 Christmas crime stories to cosy up with, from the likes of Agatha Christie, Marjorie Allingham, Arthur Conan Doyle and Ellis Peters. The volume is quarter bound in blue linen with illustrated paper boards. The following year, the Folio Book of Christmas Ghost Stories was released in 2005, illustrated by Peter Sewitt. This one features 20 ghostly tales by Walter de la Mare, Charles Dickens, Joan Aiken, G.K. Chesterton and others, and contains 15 colour plates. The volume is quarter bound in grey linen with illustrated paper boards. The last in this series was A Traveller's Christmas, published in 2006, illustrated by Paul Slater. This collection contains stories by a variety of authors such as Tolstoy, Washington Irving, Richard Burton and Dostoevsky, arranged in thematic sections such as Seasonal Feasts and Entertainments, and In Time of War and Other Perils. It contains 15 colour plates and it's quarter bound in red linen with illustrated paper boards.
The other Christmas publication that's seen quite a bit of love from the Folio Society is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. The first folio edition was published in 1970, being a facsimile of his manuscript with illustrations by John Leach. This was followed in 1988 with an omnibus volume of Dickens' Christmas books, illustrated by Charles Keeping, and again in 2007 with an updated binding. The edition I'm showing here was published in 2003 with some dreamy illustrations by Michael Foreman. It is bound in blue buckram with a blocked design on the cover and contains eight colour plates, along with 29 black and white vignettes in the text. A modified version of this edition in reduced size with monochromatic illustrations was also released in 2016 as part of the Folio Collectibles range. Thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing some more beautiful books with you soon. Bye!